One simple download is all it takes. Welcome. Welcome to happiness. Sir, you seem un, 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 shaven. Maybe the blue music on there is Bob, Bob, or my barbershop for a shaving tutorial. One simple download is all it takes. Are you feeling down? Do you want to escape? Is life and love just not what you expect? Please visit drkc.org.uk for the introductory online appointment. Welcome. Welcome to happiness. Are you feeling down? Do you want to escape? This is un, 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 un. One simple download is all it takes. Is it not a case of the total UK for this country or not? Are you feeling down? Do you want to escape? Is life and love just not what you expect? Please visit drkc.org.uk for an introductory online appointment. every now and again, you know, variation. I see. Would you say you're stressed? <laughs> stressed? I attacked an advert for the crime of being a bit slow. Yes, I'm stressed. And what would you say is causing this stress? I strain too many screens, you know. No, don't make a joke. What would you say is causing your stress? Is it work? You're a speechwriter. What? No, no, don't. Work is not causing me stress. I am not stressed at work. All my stress is purely recreational. Thank you very much. There's nothing wrong with finding your job stressful. No, there is. And you know there is. I must maintain a level of calm professionalism at all times. I know that. You work from home. Everyone works from fucking home. Do you think you're lonely? No, why would you think that? I have no friends, family, distant ex-girlfriends who occasionally worry about me. Why on earth would you think I'm lonely? Do you read? What? Do you read books? No, I don't read. I tried back when I was a kid. My eyes started to hurt. I can't read that much off a screen. What about a physical one? Of course not. Speech writing doesn't pay that well. You have? Books, poems, plays. Bloody hell. Ow! My father ran a library in London before they were shut down. When they were closing, he took as much home as he could, real books. And he left them to me. I'd like you to read one. Are you sure? Of course. Have you ever heard of Don Quixote? Can't say that I have. It's a story of a lonely man who starts to believe his life is far bigger and more important than it actually is. 
Don't know if I can relate. Just give it a go. Let's give it a five. Right. Thanks. Well, that's us for today. You didn't feel very long. Well, what do you expect? You're not the only person I've been assigned. I can't spare hours of my time. Right. I'll read it when I get home. Oh, don't read it in your rooms. Read it outside. Fresh air, it'll do you good. Right, I shall. Thanks. Oh, one more thing. Christ, shopping list must be a nightmare with you. <laughs> talk to someone. Strike up a conversation. If you crave real human interaction, go, talk. I don't count. Right, so. Chapter 1, which treats of the character and pursuits of the famous gentleman Don Quixote of La Mancha. In a village of La Mancha, the name of which I have no desire to call to mind, there lived not long since one of those gentlemen that keep a- Christ man, use a fucking full stop! <laughs> Lance in the lance rack, an old buckler, a lean hack, and a greyhound- Oh, done boy! The pies, the pies
my dear Peter, this just simply won't do. Your father's work got us elected, and I'm sure he wouldn't want you to bring the side down. Is that so? I knew him a damn side better than you did, you know. We worked very closely for many years. If you say so. Yes. Though I never met him personally, I'm sure he had a very firm handshake. It's the little things. <laughs> we all want what's best for you, Peter. Truly. Oh, then shut up! Just then, they came in sight of 30 or 40 windmills that rise from that plain. And no sooner did Don Quixote... I gave him a book to distract him. Pointless metaphor. Keep him quiet. Quiet and calm. That's what we need. All this excitement, it really is unfitting. No sooner did Don Quixote see them than he said to his squire, Do you see over yonder, friend Sancho, thirty or forty hulking giants? I intend to do battle with them and slay them, with their spoils. Look on paper and it'll go for hours. He really is a bit old school. Strange for someone so young. He grew up with our way. Just goes to know. Anomalies in every walk of life. What giants? asked Sancho Panza. Those you see over there, replied his master, with their long arms. Some of them have arms well nigh two leagues in length. Simple, boring, pointless. Take care, sir, said Sancho. Those you see are not giants, but windmills. And those things which seem to be their arms are sails which, when they are whirled by the wind, turn the millstone. Windmills. Giants. Giants. Tilting at windmills. Always wonder where they came from. People seem to forget that expressions originate from books. So, what do you think I'm doing? Pardon? Am I tilting at windmills or giants? I didn't realise you were tilting at all. It's an expression. To tilt, to joust, you must have an opponent. You've asked me a question which I can't answer without more information from you. Do you truly feel you have an enemy to fight? I'm fighting whatever is causing me stress. So what is causing me stress? Well, you say it isn't work. It's not work. I told you. You know it's not work. I know you're very adamant that it isn't work. Because it's not. But you haven't handed anything into your employer since our last chat. Well, I was busy reading. You seem to be running up quite a tally of leave days. I've got some left. You have one. I left. know what I'm doing. So what is causing you stress? Stress is intangible, so you can't fight it. How do you feel about work? feel that I've left it at home, and I don't want to talk about it because it's not related. Humour me. I can't humour you with something utterly humourless. <laughs> How would you describe <coughs> your speeches? Dull. I thought we'd moved on from one-word answers. I made no promises. Fine then. Let's play your game. It's solely one-word responses. Talk to me about your job. That might be a bit hard. I'll supply the questions. All you have to do is answer without hesitation. Okay. <coughs> Your employer. Never met her. I thought we said one word. Mysterious. <laughs> Home. Home. <coughs> Work. Speeches. Ties. Politics. In political speech writing? Yes. Irrelevant. Work. Fun. Hmm. Farther. Further. I'm sorry, further? Further away from the topic at hand. <laughs> Colleagues. Invisible. Stress. Oh, I see what you did there. No thanks, I'm not that simple. No one's simple, Peter. Wouldn't know, never met people. Well, you crave interaction, but make no effort to meet them. Look, I've come to this realisation. People, as we know them, are meaningless. May as well be dead. Excuse me? It's a metaphor. Sorry. Go on, people are dead? As we know them. I read Don Quixote. He, the character, has ideas, he has thoughts. He is stimulated by the world around him, by everything around him. It doesn't matter that the giants are windmills. It matters that he sees them as giants. He can look at one thing and feel something for it. It's not a boring old windmill, it's something more. He can see it for what it represents to him. Maybe he just really fucking hates windmills, it doesn't matter. Everything I do is watching others and typing. I'm emailed, I email back, I read the news, I see the work of others and I type. We all type. We all abandoned what makes us human years ago. Real human thought. I 
That's what makes us human. And we don't have it anymore. You're getting excited. We don't read into anything. We don't see beyond anything. We're not Quixote. We're his dull as fuck neighbour, punishing anyone with a vaguely original thought. Speechwriters used to work in metaphor and simile. I work in statement. I write no war speeches because we're not even inspired enough to invade. In the fiction that's written, in the articles that are published, in what passes for the music we listen to, what passes for this poetry, no one reads. Everything. All we do is state. We're a bunch of people sitting in small rooms, typing useless things and emailing them to useless employers. We have no future because this is no present. This is a purgatory. We're living in a metaphor and we're blind to metaphor. Now we're stuck. We're glued. We stopped developing 20 years ago. In 100 years, we moved from the horse and cart to the F-35 jet. Now we're stuck. We can't go any further. We can't go back. But we have no future. So we started to rely on what we had, and we, we made what we had our identity, and what we had was invisible. It was an idea, a wisp of cloud that we dragged down and made our lives. We are pointless. We are living in a pointless age. We have the most pointless thoughts that were ever committed to nothing. No one's carving shit on wood or stone or just lead on paper. Nothing we own exists. This, this exists. This has meaning. It's committed to paper. Everything we own that exists is a, is a lie. Because it doesn't. It's in the cloud. Yes, you're scaring me. Good. This is scary, Dr. Casely. Sarah. My name's Sarah. Then, Sarah Casely. This is scary. This is life. When did you come to this conclusion? I had it, I had it last night. I had it the night before. I had it a week ago. I've had it my whole life. I just haven't had the words. I haven't had the metaphor. So this is what's causing you stress. The way of life we have to lead. Yes. So in your mind, to cure your stress, you have to fight what? The lack of humanity. How do you intend to do that? I don't know. Where is this lack of humanity coming from? What's the cause of it? Technology? The government? Stop! Are these violent thoughts? Peter, this behaviour, these thoughts you're having, they're textbook. Textbook what? Delusion. Paranoid delusion. Do you agree with me? That doesn't matter. Do you agree with me? Do you agree? It's not my job to agree, it's my job to refer to a textbook. And the textbook says that... But you that can't let a man with major paranoid delusions leave this office and walk around. In case he acts on them. Yes. In fact, it's likely to be mandatory to put me in a white room with perhaps soft padded walls. Something like that, yeah. Well then I'd best be off. Where are you going? To tilt at giants. Mm -hmm.